So I'm down in a little valley on the land and there's a little pond here. And the, I found the biggest white oak, but basically one of the largest diameter trees in this whole area. And if you look at it, it has a bunch of these little knobs coming off. Now those are not burls, they're not any sort of uh, fungal infections or anything like that. Those were the sites of where branches used to be coming off this tree. And what that tells me now that they've fallen off and healed over, and in fact actually this tree is dead, so I know it's pretty old, is this tree used to be growing in the open. There didn't used to be all these other little trees around. I just wanted to show a quick example of an open or field-grown oak. This, this is a grove, these are actually uh, bur oak, different than a white oak, but very similar in the respect that if they're grown in the open, they take on this kind of spherical or ball shape. They send a lot of branches that are low and spreading far out. You can see uh, some examples behind me here. So the oak in question on my property, what this video is about, it probably looked similar to this, although a little smaller. Uh, and then when all the other trees came up around it, shaded out those low, widespreading branches, they died and fell off. Here's an example of a white oak that's grown with competition all around it, so it's not grown in the open. You can see that there's no big branches coming out along the sides that are going to leave those big knobs like we saw on the other tree. So uh, th this would tell me if I saw this tree many years later that it was grown with competition around it for light, forcing it to grow up, 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 instead of out. I've seen some barbed wire um, edging this area, and the ground here is, is kind of hilly and, and, and bumpy. Uh, hopefully you can appreciate that. Um, but basically it's not smooth, which tells me they probably never plowed this, uh, this, this area. Plus it's, like I said, it's very sandy here, and this is a pretty steep hill, so it probably wasn't used for growing crops. So all these facts, if I add them all up, tells me that this area was probably some sort of an open area pasture for an animal. Uh, animals, probably cows, because we're in Wisconsin at some point in time. So it's just a neat way to uh, read the land around you, and uh, what really keyed me in to think about this was seeing these old pruned and healed over limb uh, signs on this big old dead white oak that's actually now home to some critters. There's a little cave kind of underneath the tree, and you can see there's a lot of woodpecker action uh, on the side. Beautiful tree.